Welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and today we're covering well all about the update and what is going on, what is changing, what is being reverted, what is brand new, what you might have missed. And I thought well it would be fun as long as we're on the subject to show some replays of what appears to be an Archer Queen being not so bright. Uh, but what in actuality is probably an Archer Queen just being kind of short-sighted. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. And the reason I wanted to talk about that specifically is because there were supposed to be AI, artificial intelligence, improvements to the Archer Queen and other ranged units that came with this update. And the quote is, we've made changes to how ranged units such as the Archer Queen, Cannon Carts, Archers, etc. path to and attack their targets. The artificial intelligence will now better calculate attack distances, attack positions, and will also take walls into consideration to determine the best attack vector. Sounds technical, right? This will help avoiding the, quote, shooting at walls, unquote, issue that ranged units will occasionally do. Furthermore, the AI will now also take jump spell into greater account for pathing purposes. So everybody was excited. Okay, everybody that knew that was coming was pretty excited about the idea that the queen might actually finally be smarter than she ever was. The problem being, apparently it didn't work. Just a few hours ago, Darian announced on the forums that they will be reverting to the previous artificial intelligence. And I guess the concern is they don't want it to affect clan war leagues, which are just starting, of course. And apparently... There was some problem with not the jump spell portion, but the wall portion where the range units weren't behaving correctly. It had to do with wall breakers when they destroyed walls. So basically it's just like it was before. Pretend you never heard about this and everything will be fine. Now, of course, there are other bugs and glitches that are being reported all over the forums about the game crashing. For instance, this one that you see in the corner, if you go to pretty much any player's base now, I was getting tweets where people were like, it's this specific player. No, it's actually just about anybody. If you go to their builder base and back, it'll crash the game. And if it doesn't happen the first time, if you do it twice, it's like guaranteed to crash the game. So there's that, and I would expect these things to be changed. Uh, also, personally, I am finding Ice Golems and Hog Riders extremely strong. Videos coming very soon about them. I, would I say they're breaking the game? No, but if Galadon can 3 the strats OP, right? Well, get ready, because I'm wrecking bases left and right. Uh, but also, there are other things that came kind of quietly to the update that players may have missed. And these, although small changes, are really big when it comes to quality of life. A lot of people tweeting me and sending me messages saying, why don't I have to reload my expos and defenses, bombs, traps, mines anymore? That's right, they are automatic, but they're only automatic when you log back into the game. So it refreshes them when you log in, it's for free, but there will still be dead bases where defenses are unloaded if the player doesn't log back in to automatically load them. Got it? Okay. And then people are like, hey, where'd my magic items go? They went to the town hall. I guess it's easier to find them from the town hall. Uh, the big one that I really liked is the idea about the clans, the leader rotation. So if a clan's leader has been gone for three months, 90 days, the leader title is assigned to the most senior co-leader in the clan. And that's determined by who's been co-leader the longest without interruption. Okay, so let's get into this attack. And I was going to make an entire video about how the queen seems dumb, but maybe she's not that dumb. And then they went and changed the artificial intelligence. Now it's reverted. So let's take a look at this attack right now. The miners are closing in. The archer queen is targeting the wizard tower because she's decided that's the next best, next closest structure for her to get to. So she's firing at the wall to her right. You see that there? You see the wall taking damage? So watch as the miners move in. The miners are going to take out the wizard tower. Now as soon as they do, the queen says, oh, that one's far away. I'm going to retarget. Look at the wall. The wall was like 95% destroyed. So it seems like she's being dumb. It seems like she's being extremely stupid, but she's not. Now what she said is, okay, the mortar is the closest building. I'm going to go get the mortar. So she knows she can't reach the mortar if she got through that first wall so she's gone to a second wall 
And now she's working on taking that wall down. So yes, she is stuck against a wall. I'm going to get this mortar. I've almost got this wall out of the way. Here come the miners. The miners are going to get the mortar down. So she changes direction again. Yet this time, she didn't get 90% of the wall down. She got 99% of that wall down. She's And she's moved on again. Now you would think that the mortar went down, that she would say, well, the expo is the next closest, right? And, and that would make the most sense to me, but apparently the expo was not the next closest before she considered the mortar. This is like, you know, thinking in chess. So now she's decided, okay, the next closest is actually this mortar. No, I think it's actually this air defense. I think that's what she decided eventually. She's like, that's the next closest besides that mortar. So I'm going to go over here and, oh, wait, what do you know? You didn't even need to hit a wall. She's going to reach over. Well, wait a minute. Then couldn't she have gotten that other building back there without going through a wall? I don't know. See, this this goes back to, I it just, she confuses me. But yes, so she spent much of her time here attacking walls. And if you really take the time to look at where she is going, then you can realize that she's actually making sense. Now, all right, she's on a wall again. Okay. But she can't reach any other buildings without going through a wall right now. But she sees that the mortar, the mortar is the next closest target, apparently. But remember, she can only see one building ahead. And she can't remember. She has no memory. So the queen isn't very bright. She doesn't remember this wall is one shot. Okay, one shot away from being able to reach all of those other defenses. So she's going to work on this wall. And of course, it's a max level wall. And she's going to spend the next, you know whatever, 10 or 15 seconds working on this wall. And then, if you think about it, if she had gone through the wall that was already damaged, she gets to three defenses, or four defenses at least. Since she went through this wall instead, she's only going to be able to get to one defense before she has to go into, yes, that's right, uh, another wall. So she got the mortar out of the way, and oops, here we go, back to walls, because she can't see ahead she has no you know vision of the future and that's hopefully part of what has been changed about the archer queen so let's go ahead and let this attack wrap up i've got one more to show you of an archer queen where we're going to try to decode her behavior but then the rest of the quality of life improvements that showed up now leaders and co-leaders are able to delete donated troops from other clan members war clan castles so if a mistake was made or there was a troll, that is nice. The leader, the co-leader can fix that. And then supposedly the builder menu, the suggestions of what to upgrade next, it's going to be smarter and you can scroll through and see everything that can be built. And that just kind of makes it a little bit easier to get to an upgrade if there's a specific one you had in mind that you want to make. And then lastly, when you visit another village, if you remember this, if the village had been raided, the buildings would be destroyed and you wouldn't be able to see, you know, you would have to click on the building to see what it actually was. Now, even if the building has been destroyed, the village has been three starred, you will get to see the village as it was when it's standing, which makes it a lot easier if you want to copy another player's base. Just one of those things. So again, look for some changes in the coming days. There may be another maintenance. There are some issues with some magic items and the uh, gold and silver passes that sort of thing, but let's go ahead and get into one final spammy, I don't know, I don't even know why I did this, okay, I think I was just testing at one point to see how ridiculously strong E-Dragons are, and by the way, they're still pretty darn strong, I will show some attacks in the coming days, uh, at least one with E-Dragons on a new fully maxed out base with a new higher level Archer Towers, and it doesn't make that much of a difference, but let's just take this example of the Archer Queen's behavior and see if we can't figure out why she did what she did. Now, of course, she's on a wall right now. She left that wall, okay? She left that wall because whatever she was going for got destroyed. Now she's after the expo. She gets the expo... Wait a minute. Okay. Um, No, she stopped the expo with one shot left on it and turned around after the wall again. Okay, so the reason she did that was because of the air skeletons attacking the E-Dragons, okay? She went to go help out with those. Now that those are gone, she's going to turn around and go back after the Expo. So, you know, it looks stupid at first glance. It's like, wait, how dumb is this Archer Queen? And now here's a problem 
where she, again, is not showing any foresight. She can't think ahead two moves. This is why the Archer Queen will never be able to play chess, because there's the one move, right? She's going to get through these. Okay, she got through those two, but now she has forgotten that wall behind her that was so badly damaged. She's like, I'm going to go this way. And where, of course, she could have gone back and gotten through that wall that needed just a few more shots. Instead, she's going to start on a brand new, fresh wall, trying to get to probably the Wizard Tower, I'm guessing. Maybe this Elixir Collector. I guess it's probably the Elixir Collector. So, But let's see what happens when she gets through the wall, because she will eventually. And then you've got the, the King versus King down here at the bottom. And the Mortar is firing on the King. And All right, so let's see. The E-Dragons, they're dying to the single target Inferno. The Archer Queen, she's getting hit by the Mortar. The Kings are about to take care of each other. She's just about through the wall any second now, and... All right, there goes the Elixir Collector. So she's gonna get that out of the way, and now she's gonna go around the corner, of course, and... No. Okay, so... <laughs> uh, just, I mean, this is maybe hopefully what they're talking about, because she could have turned the corner and had all sorts of buildings to take care of, but no, she's gonna go after... Uh, the king's little pad, the king's throne right there instead, right? So she's almost through the wall once again. Remember there was that wall up there. Where is it? That wall that needed like two shots. She would have gotten through the wall there. But no, she's down here because there's X number of walls f distance between that wall and this wall. And there you go. She retargets again because the Electro Dragons took out her target. So now, now she finds these <laughs> structures on the outside, but... What happened in the meantime is she spent most of the attack hitting walls. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's hope that it reverts and we see what happens. Also, look for extremely strong, like I said, ice dragons. Ice dragons. Oops. I just leaked the ice dragon. No. Ice golems and hog riders. Uh, we'll see about that as well. Either way, let me know your thoughts. And if you find any other glitches, bugs, we will do another Strange But True episode very soon. As always, thank you for watching all the way to the end of the episode. I appreciate you guys. You're the true hashtag Galafam. You're true supporters of the channel. You're the reason that I'm here. So I hope that you have a fantastic rest of it. Get out there, be kind of people, animals in the other planet. The other planet? The other planet? New planet leaked. Uh, see you tomorrow for more full text. I leaked another planet. Don't. Jet lag got you down. <laughs>